Hi and welcome back and you know what? I have to take a belly breath because I am still recovering from um, yesterday's chapter with the Tyrannosaurus chasing Jack and the Pterodon coming and rescuing him and well the treehouse started to spin because they wished to go back to Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Let's see if they made it back. Chapter 10. Home before dark. Make sure you're using your listening ears for this. A bird began to sing. Jack opened his eyes. He was still pointing at the picture of the Frog Creek Woods. He peeked out the treehouse window. Outside he saw the exact same view. We're home, whispered Annie. The woods were lit with the golden late afternoon light. The sun was about to set. No time had passed since they left. Jack! Annie! A voice called from the distance. That's Mom, said Annie, pointing. Jack saw their mom far away. She was standing in front of their house. She looked very tiny. What's tiny mean? It means small. Annie! Jack! She called. Annie stuck her head out the window and shouted, Coming! Jack still felt dazed. He just stared at Annie. What happened to us, he said. We took a trip in a magic tree house, said Annie simply. But it's the same time as when we left, said Jack. Annie shrugged. And how did it take us so far away, said Jack, and so long ago? You just looked at the book and said you wished we could go there, said Annie. And the magic tree house took us there. But how, said Jack, and who built this magic tree house? Who put all these books here? A magic person, I guess, said Annie. A magic person? Oh, look, said Jack. I almost forgot about this. He reached into his pocket and pulled out the gold medallion. Someone lost this back there in dinosaur land. Look, there's a letter. What letter was on it? M. A letter M on it. Annie's eyes got round. You think M stands for magic person, she said? Maybe Maddox. I don't know, said Jack. I just know someone went to that place before us. Jack! Annie! Came the distant cry again. Annie poked her head out the window. Coming, she shouted. Jack put the gold medallion back in his pocket. He pulled the dinosaur book out of his pack and put it back with all the other books. Then he and Annie took one last look around the treehouse. Goodbye, house, whispered Annie. Jack slung his backpack over his shoulder. He pointed at the ladder. Annie started down. Jack followed. Seconds later, they hopped onto the ground and started walking out of the woods. No one's going to believe our story, said Jack. So let's not tell anyone, said Annie. Dad won't believe it, said Jack. He'll say it was a dream, said Annie. Mom won't believe it, said Jack. She'll say it was pretend. My teacher won't believe it, said Jack. She'll say you're crazy, said Annie. We better not tell anyone, said Jack. I already said that, said Annie. Jack sighed. I think I'm starting to not believe it myself, he said. They left the woods and started up the road toward the house. As they walked past all the houses on their street, the trip to dinosaur time did seem more and more like a dream. Only this world and this time seemed real. Jack reached into his pocket. He clasped the gold medallion. Clasped means that you hold on to it. He felt the engraving of the letter M, and it made Jack's fingers tingle. Jack laughed. Suddenly he felt very happy. He couldn't explain what had happened today, but he knew for sure that their trip in the magic treehouse had been real. Absolutely real. Tomorrow, Jack said softly, we'll go back to the woods. Of course, said Annie. And we'll climb up to the treehouse, said Jack. Of course, said Annie. And we'll see what happens next, said Jack. Of course, said Annie race you. And they took off together, running for home. Well, that's the end of that book. And, well, oh. oh. Magic Treehouse number two, The Night at Dawn. Oh. Wow. Uh, we'll have to see if we have that book here at Mount Logan. You'll have to come back next time and see if we have Magic Treehouse number two. All right, boys and girls, well, thank you for following along in our story for, goodness, 10 chapters. You were very patient, and you were a very good listener. 
We'll see you all next time, and make sure your brain is growing and that you're doing a win-win. Bye.